right side. The season for both Gonzaga men's and women's basketball teams has come to an end. We have full reaction highlights from Alex Crescenti and Julian Minnesota. And Easter weekend is here and so is beautiful weather. I'll tell you how long it'll be sticking around this time. And a man wanted for failing to appear in court to answer to child rape charges is dead tonight. What we know about a standoff and shooting with sheriff's deputies in Deer Park. You're watching 4 News Now, Nightside. We begin with that breaking news tonight. A man is dead and three SWAT deputies are on administrative leave. In just the last two hours, Spokane County Sheriff John Knowles answered questions about the shooting in Deer Park. Thanks for staying up with us for Nightside. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. Now, according to the sheriff, the man who died was wanted for child rape in Stevens County. Sheriff Knowles says Stevens County deputies were trying to contact the man who was at a home in Spokane County. He was uncooperative and a according to the sheriff, asked deputies to shoot him. Stevens County asked for SWAT resources and crisis negotiators. Chemical munitions were put in that home to try to get the man to come out. And hours later, SWAT breached the home, entered a shed with a window, and the sheriff says that's when shots were fired. Here to be blocked, they could not see inside. They decided to breach that window at that point. Um, and as that occurred, uh, shots were fired by sheriff's office, SWAT team members, and uh, they immediately took positions of cover. They made sure that everybody in the team was safe. They then located the subject inside the house and rendered aid. Now, when asked if the man had a weapon, Sheriff Knowles says that is part of the ongoing investigation. Sir team is looking into body camera footage from the deputies involved. Three of those deputies are now on administrative leave. Well, the road to the championship for the Zags has come to an end tonight. Yeah, Kirsten oh. Gonzaga was just not able to overcome Zach Eady and number one Purdue. So it's going to be the Boilermakers that are heading off to the Elite Eight. But that doesn't mean the Zags didn't go down without a fight. Really, the Zags were coming into this rematch the best they looked all season. Mm. The Boilermakers were still able to get it done tonight, Kirsten. Uh, it just hurts to watch it. And Sydney Berger's been following this all night for us. We're so grateful to have you in our newsroom Sydney and Alex Crescenti's in Detroit with more on how Purdue was able to pull this one off. Coming into this matchup, we knew Gonzaga would have to play a near perfect game in order to knock off number one seed Purdue. And for the first 20 minutes, they hung with the Boilermakers and were only down by four at the break. But the Zags foul trouble mixed with Purdue's ability to knock shots down from anywhere on the court proved to be too much. And then, of course, there's the Zach Eady issue. While he was held at bay for the first half, he still finished with 27 points and 14 rebounds and secured a 3-0 record all time against the Bulldogs. Um, yeah, they hit some shots. Um, couldn't finish some possessions out with some boards. We fouled a little bit. Um, kudos to them, man. They hit some big-time shots. Got a great dude down there, Zach Eady. They hit tough shots. Uh, Edie's a, you know, tough force inside, and when you got to send two people at him and they're shooting like that, it's tough to, uh, it's tough to defend. They fed it inside to Edie. You know, they got it going in threes first half. We cut that off, and the last resort was Edie. Could didn't bring that same energy I should have um, from the start of the game. Got two quick fouls and then just kind of stopped doing the, the little things, flying around, um, battling like I normally do. Um, so, I mean, I'm happy with how the year went, but tonight I'm not happy with the performance that I put out. Now, while this is a disappointing end to the season, the team will return virtually everyone on the roster, and they can use that experience to take the next step towards that elusive national championship. I've got no no worries about this group. I think we're each gonna gonna get better over the offseason, every single one of us. So everyone I think that this loss is gonna help everyone buy in. So um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun off season. Um, not not fun right now to think about necessarily, but um, it'll be it'll be fun to see the group growth when it's all said and done. Now, while the Bulldogs just wrapped up their season, we're only about 200 days away from the 2024-2025 season. Reporting tonight in Detroit, I'm Alex Crescenti, 4 News Now Sports. 
Thank you, Alex. Well, we are going into the Easter weekend now, something else to get excited about. And here's a list of where you can get your egg hunt on this weekend. The big one, of course, is in Riverfront Park, and that starts at 10 o'clock for the littler kids and 1035 for ages six and up. Over 20,000 eggs will be hidden across the park. For more hunts around the area, find this story right now on KXLY.com. And here to tell you what kind of weather you can expect for your egg hunt, Here's a secret. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. <laughs> Matt Gray is in for Chris tonight. I want to know who is in charge of hiding the eggs and how long that takes. 20,000 eggs. Bunny is in charge, Matt. Oh, uh, he ain't doing it by himself. <laughs> it's a he ain't doing long. it by himself. No way. No way. All right. Well, let's talk about finding the eggs again, right? So we have seen a lot nicer weather today and Saturday morning, if you're taking the kiddos out to do some Easter egg hunting, uh, no matter where it is, we've got some beautiful weather. We'll still be in the 30s at around 9 in the morning, but we will be solidly in the 40s from 10 a.m. through about lunchtime, and then we will pop up into the 50s for the afternoon. And the big deal here is our continued uh, disappearance of cloud cover. We're going to have some beautiful sunshine laden days this weekend. The radar right now, after we saw a couple of showers earlier today, sweeping entirely clear, and I expect that. For the majority of the weekend, we may see one or two showers up in the Idaho mountains near the Montana state line tomorrow. That is about it. Temperatures right now after we got into the 50s today have cooled off pretty quickly in many areas. We're down to 31 already in Spirit Lake. Coeur d'Alene's at 36. Meanwhile, in Spokane, we're hanging on to the heat a little bit more. Only 43 in downtown. And for tonight, we are going to go just a little bit below our average. So usually our average is about 33 34 for our lows. We'll see upper 20s around Deer Park and Spirit Lake and we'll be largely right around freezing or just below it in the I-90 corridor. So that is how we start the weekend. We've got more beautiful weather coming up for your Easter Sunday where we'll be close to 60 degrees by the time we get to the afternoon and there is more warmth to come and more big changes as well. We'll talk about that in your full forecast in just a few minutes. All right. Thank you, Matt. Well, tonight, new information on the nanny accused of murdering an infant back in November. Court documents revealing 59 year old Sharon Arger had only watched these children unsupervised for three days. And one of those days was the day infant Preston Schweitzer went to the hospital. The call to 911 came in when Arger said she found Preston unconscious. First responders in Airway Heights tried CPR before rushing the, NICU, the infant to the NICU at Sacred Heart Children's Hospital. And that's when doctors discovered the alarming injuries. They found several bruises, scrapes consistent with a blow to the head, a fractured skull, and brain bleeding on the infant. Court documents stated an MRI revealed his spine was damaged in what was described as shaking types of injuries. Preston died six days after being admitted. The medical examiner compared Preston's injuries to someone being thrown off of a horse. Arger told police that Preston's two-year-old brother threw a tricycle at Preston and hit him in the head. Doctors said it was, quote, absolutely not possible a toddler could have caused those injuries. The court did review comments attributed to you indicating that uh, you were going to shift blame towards the two-year-old child, indicating it was a two-year-old brother who inflicted significant injuries on this kid. Police say Arger emerged as a suspect because her story kept changing. She made her first appearance in court today. The court commissioner denied releasing Arger on her own recognizance, setting a bond of $1 million. And a jury has found Gary Alt guilty of murdering an 83-year-old man in Deer Park in December of 2022. When deputies linked Alt to Richard Purdy's murder, he was already in police custody for allegedly attacking six people throughout Spokane. Alt clenched his jaw as the judge read his guilty verdict. The courtroom full with the family's victim, the victim's family rather. He was found guilty of premeditated murder in the first degree, first degree murder, unlawful possession of a firearm and possession of a stolen firearm. The judge also read a special verdict related to charge one, premeditated murder in the first degree. 
was the murder committed in the course of, or in furtherance of, or an immediate flight from the crime of first degree burglary or residential burglary? Answer, yes. Alt was escorted out of the courtroom in handcuffs. His sentencing is scheduled for May 8th. Well, with the warmer weather, construction will come back and areas that already experience high traffic like the Lincoln Heights Shopping Center will see even more slowdowns. Starting Monday in the morning, right at 7 a.m., crews are going to begin two grind and overlay projects on 29th Avenue. That's between Grand Boulevard and Ray Street. Travel will be reduced to one lane in each direction. Work will be completed sometime in August. And also starting Monday, Bigelow Gulch from Havana Street to Weill Road will close until late fall. Crews will be essentially reconstructing the road and making upgrades. The detour directing drivers toward Mead is going to add time to your commute. So plan ahead and you can find more detour information right now on KXLY.com. We'll still have the heartwarming story of how Spokane volunteers rallied to help a Vietnam veteran. Plus, the new hotel that could be coming to downtown Coeur d'Alene and the amenities inside next on Nightside. And here's some more spots that will be dropping down into the 20s, generally across some of our northern, uh, northeastern Washington communities and in the North Idaho Panhandle. Now, really, the story is all about the warmth, at least for the next couple of days. Long term, uh, might be a bit of a different story. We'll show you that in your forecast after this. Download the KXLY Plus app on your connected TV. 4 News Now is brought to you by Super One Foods. This is Ford Truck Month with amazing offers across an amazing lineup of Ford trucks. Get to Ford Truck Month. Lock in a six-year rate. Get 1.9% for 72 on a 2023 F-150 only at your local Ford dealer. Hi, Phil Swift here for Flex Super Wide Duct Tape. It's so wide, we built this race boat. It's super strong and takes a pounding. Get Flex Super Wide Duct Tape. News. For years, Washington Realtors embraced some of the most consumer-friendly practices in the nation, putting fairness and transparency at the heart of the home buying process, providing clients with the duties of their real estate broker in the transaction, along with a written agreement explaining the cost of brokerage services and receiving and signing this agreement up front. Now, these principles are not just industry standard, they're state law. Transparency in Real Estate, brought to you by Washington Realtors. Is your broker a realtor? With DISH, get the same TV bill every month for two years. Hello? Oh God, I think someone's coming. No price hikes, no surprises. Because surprising TV shows are great. Surprising TV bills, not great. Let's get you some fresh water. The two-year TV price guarantee from DISH. Tuned in to you. The Zags are moving on. Next stop, Detroit. And 4 News Now will be right there. Join us for special live coverage, exclusive behind-the-scenes action, and more from the Motor City. 4 News Now Road to the Championship is sponsored by Northwest Specialty Hospital. This is Ford Truck Month with amazing offers across an amazing lineup of Ford trucks. Get to Ford Truck Month. Lock in a six-year rate. Get 1.9% for 72 on a 2023 F-150 only at your local Ford dealer. Want free college or career training? It's possible. Go to wagrant.org. Welcome back. We want to remind you that you have until Easter Sunday to remove your studded tires and replace them with your normal ones. If you don't, it could be quite a fine $137 in Washington. Ooh, want to avoid that. And there's no snow really to be heard of um, currently. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's go with that. Let's just stick with that. And you know, the positive thing is here because of the sun angle and the warmer temperatures, even when we do get snow, it usually melts later on Pretty in quick. the day this yeah. time of the year. So that really helps out with the driving conditions. All driving is all good for this weekend. However, let's take a look at our highs for tomorrow and we are just going to add a couple of degrees on here. We're going to be slowly warming each day. We'll be at 55 in Spokane for tomorrow. Coeur d'Alene hits 54 on a beautiful Saturday and we'll see 60s in places like Omak, Grand Coulee and in the L.C. 
Valley. Lots of sunshine. I'm expecting throughout the weekend and for the first couple of days of the upcoming week. So uh, kind of post Easter and headed back to work on Monday, mid 60s, and then we really take another jump. Huge difference between Sunday afternoon and Tuesday afternoon. We'll, we'll, we will end up warming up to right around 70 and our lows will be in the 40s to start the day. And that is the peak of this latest stretch of warm weather. And well, enjoy it while it is here. We're, we're kind of in these stages of winter where, you know, December, January, February are kind of these three at the top here, right? And then March and the first couple weeks of April are then the next four. And then we finally actually get to spring sometime in April, we, we hope most years. We try to get there by the end of April. And we're in here right now, as you could probably tell from all of Kirsten's stories. We're in road construction and nice weather phase. Oh boy, but it looks like we may end up uh, being a little frustrated by this time next week. So this is the Climate Prediction Center outlook for next Thursday through next weekend. So once again, enjoy this weekend because ooh, next weekend may not be nearly as nice the way things are going. Certainly won't be as warm as we are seeing 60, 70, 80 plus percent chance for below average temperatures across the Pacific Northwest. Here's the setup with the overall weather pattern, high pressure in control, and that's gonna be responsible for our strong warming all the way up through Tuesday. But then look what happens on Wednesday. The warm air slides south and a cool air moves in. And this means at the very least, we are looking at some pretty windy weather for Wednesday as we change between those masses of air. What else could we see? Well, likely we'll see some moisture come in and that'll mean a chance for rain and potentially a chance for a little bit of wintry mix as the temperatures continue to cool. Now, what's interesting here is by the time we get to next Friday, this storm takes a big dive to the south here. That leaves us in kind of a no man's land where it will still be chilly, but it may not necessarily be all that wet. And the outlook here as we head into the late next week and early next weekend is not necessarily the wettest outlook that I have ever seen. So those are going to be the couple things that we watch during this stretch of beautiful weather to get you ready for the next round of active weather, which is going to start at about five, six days from now. So in the meantime, man, just enjoy what is going to be another round of early spring beautiful weather here for the time being. Like we said, we do hit 70 on Tuesday and then look how fast things drop. Wednesday, 58. We may even drop even faster if the cool air really rushes in. Windy weather. Thursday right now, I would say is our best chance for some precipitation. And notice I have a little bit of everything on the icon there because at this point, it literally could be quite anything that comes out of, uh, of some of the showers that we do expect in, next week. In those stages, Matt, my favorite one was, oops, more snow. <laughs> yeah, I think we've, we've had a couple of those already uh, the last oops. month or two. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Matt. Well, today volunteers rallied to help a Vietnam veteran with a massive project. For months, Gonzalo Martinez has had a front yard covered in tree branches. In November, a Vista dropped trees on Martinez's property because they were in danger of power. Power lines, And then a windstorm took down another tree, leaving him with the front yard just covered in branches. Martinez is a grandpa to 14 kids. None of them could safely spend time in front of his house. So now, thanks to a team from Veterans Community Response, his front yard will be transformed. When we found out that they were going to help us, uh, it was like uh, we had won the lottery, literally, honestly. And my, I texted my uh, adult children, and they were so excited for us. And I've told friends who were concerned because they kept asking, and people at church. So everybody was just as thrilled as they could be for us, you know. Well, the community responder team has help from the Spokane Valley Fire Department, Cannon Hill Industries Incorporated. And you may have recognized our very own Mark Peterson, all helping to make the project come to life. Martina says he's overwhelmed with gratitude for the volunteers. And if he could give them each a million dollars, he would. Today is National Vietnam War Veterans Day, and many people gathered at the Spokane Vet Center to give Vietnam vets the homecoming they did not receive when they came home from the war 50 years ago.
And they were not greeted with, with the parades and the, you know, the thanks that they deserved. And so this is a welcome home day for the Vietnam veterans to say thank you for your service. Thank you for representing the United States. During the event, families had the opportunity to make dog tags of their loved ones to be hung at the memorial. A new 15-story hotel could soon be coming to downtown Coeur d'Alene. The city's design review commission unanimously approved the project yesterday. It would be built on First and Sherman and have 139 rooms. It also will have a 6,000 square foot restaurant with a rooftop bar. Crews will also be building a detached three-level parking garage on First and Lakeside Avenue and construction could begin early next year with hopes of opening in the spring of 2027. Still ahead, the surprising things that a new study shows may be causing 51% higher risk of heart disease in women. That's next on Nightside. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Now is a great time to get an offer you'll love on the Accord Hybrid and CRV Hybrid. Inventory is here, so bring on the fun. Bring on the weekend getaways. Bring on the memories. And get a great offer on a Honda. Name the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2024 Subaru Outback shares your spirit with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive and up to 32 miles per gallon. Plus, 97% of Outback vehicles sold in the last 10 years are still on the road today. The 2024 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Drive with 1.9% financing during the Subaru A Lot to Love event at AutoNation Subaru. At Fisher Investments, we may look like other money managers, but we're different. How so? We're a fiduciary, obligated to act in our clients' best interests, so we don't sell any commission-based products. Then how do you make money? We have a simple management fee, structured so we do better when our clients do better. The clients really come first then, huh? Yes, we make them a top priority by getting to know their finances, family, health, lifestyle, and more. Wow, maybe we are different. At Fisher Investments, we're clearly different. It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best in class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. Get $5,000 total value on Silverado LTZ and High Country models when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Or during Chevy truck season, get as low as 0.9% financing in all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. 4 News Now, Road to the Championship, is brought to you by Northwest Specialty Hospital. Thanks for staying up with Nightside. Nearly half of American adults have hypertension, also known as high blood pressure, according to the CDC. Now doctors are studying a new device that might help people lower their blood pressure. The device approved by the FDA in 2023 uses ultrasound energy to lower the activity of nerves around the kidney that contribute to high blood pressure. The procedure takes about an hour, and if the device works, that could lead to people taking fewer daily medications. Living with high blood pressure can lead to heart attack, stroke, and kidney failure. And in 2021, the CDC says hypertension was the primary or contributing cause of nearly 700,000 deaths in the U.S. New on Nightside, new evidence shows women who have more than one alcoholic drink a day can increase their risk for heart disease. Kaiser Permanente led this study that shows women who have eight or more alcoholic drinks in a week saw up to a 51% higher risk of heart disease. And those who had three drinks a day, defined as binge drinking, were 68% more likely. Increased risk was seen even for young women in their 20s. This research comes as women women are drinking more, 13% of women report binge drinking weekly. In Baltimore, the largest crane on the eastern seaboard is now helping clear the wreckage from the deadly Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse. Crews need to remove the massive vessel before they can reopen the port, which is vital to both the local and national economy. To go out there and to see it up close, you realize just how daunting a task this is. 
And every time you take action to move a piece of wreckage, you understand that that requires you to reassess the situation. It will be an expensive, time-consuming, round-the-clock effort. Six people died in the collapse, and two of the victims' bodies have been recovered. A consumer alert for Kia owners, 427,000 Telluride SUVs are recalled because they can roll away while in park. All models from 2020 through 2023 and some 2024 models are impacted. Owners should take the SUV to the dealership to have an updated electronic parking brake software installed. Well, coming up, how the Gonzaga women fared against the Texas Longhorns in their Sweet 16 matchup. Stay with us. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Sign up for the 4 News Now Daily Local at KXLY.com. Sunday and Monday, it's a two-night idol event. Let the games begin! With a Hollywood week like never before. I've never seen anything like this. Idol hopefuls perform in the first ever Idol Arena. I prefer calling it the gladiator's pit. But will your favorites survive the biggest cut? In American Idol history. There's only one spot left. You gotta work harder because we're going down to 24. American Idol two-night event. ABC Sunday and Monday and stream on Hulu. This month, Cal Cars is going crazy with mad savings on the biggest selection of tricked out trucks and sporty SUVs. We've aggressively priced these rigs so low that this month we're offering a price match guarantee. Which means if you find the same type of vehicle anywhere else for less, we will match it guaranteed. And during this madness of savings, 40 bucks down is all you need. It's go time this week at Cal. Nestled in the heart of North Idaho, Northwest Specialty Hospital is more than a healthcare institution. It's a beacon of patient first values. With every interaction, you are our top priority. Together, we navigate your healthcare journey hand in hand, providing unwavering support. Our five star overall rating from CMS is a reflection of our unrelenting dedication to patient care. Discover the difference a community centered hospital can make at Northwest Specialty Hospital. They say post it or it didn't happen. But out here, in the places we were made for, you'll have to take our word for it. Find somewhere the internet's never been. With the family of Broncos designed to get you there. Your choice. Get a 2023 Bronco Sport with zero for 60 or lease for $299 a month only at your local Ford dealer. Well, like we heard earlier, this is the end of the road for the Zags, but I am sure that they have a lot to be proud of for what they did to get to this point, Sydney. Kirsten, there was an idea earlier in the season that they would miss the postseason altogether, so getting this far in the tournament was an accomplishment on its own. Sports Director Julian Minitone is in Detroit tonight with how the Zags plan to bounce back for next season. Well, Gonzaga's season comes to an end in the Sweet 16 of the NCAA tournament in the loss to Purdue. And while the Zags are regulars in this round, this run may be their most impressive in quite some time. Back in December, this team wasn't expected to make the NCAA tournament. So to get to a ninth straight Sweet 16, despite the loss, still certainly an accomplishment. And don't get me wrong, the guys are bummed out. This loss is going to hurt for quite some time. But they say they're going to use it as fuel to get right back here to the NCAA tournament next season. I mean, I don't know how you could get much more motivation than this. Uh, this loss hurts. Um, it'll hurt for a while. Um, and we're going to be back next year. I'll tell you that right now. To go out like this, it definitely hurts. and um, wasn't the way we wanted to. So, um, yeah, it'll, it'll definitely motivate us. A couple months ago, no one thought we would be even in the tournament. And even when we made it in the tournament, everybody thought we'd be out first round. So being in the Sweet 16 the second weekend is, you know, it's something to hold their heads up high. Deepest run I've ever went um, in my college career. And just to be with such great dudes, man, it's made this season so fun, so enjoyable. Um, I look forward to doing it again. It also marks the end of a career for Spokane native Anton Watson, who played the third most games in Gonzaga history. He's going to go down as a Spokane legend, a Zags legend. Um, you know, he's the, he's the definition of a Zag, and um, 
Yeah, yeah man, I'm honored to be his teammate. Um, I'm honored to be his friend and his bro and his brother. And um, yeah, man, I'm 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 happy. With, I'm sure he's happy with the run he's had. It sucks that we couldn't pull pull this one out for him. They shouldn't feel disappointed at all or hang their heads. Um, I believe they're gonna be back in this position next year. Um, you know, we had our backs against the wall. People didn't think we would make it to this point, and we made it right here. And, you know, I couldn't thank them enough for that. Outside of Watson, the entire team is expected to return next season. They've already had some key pieces via the transfer portal and hope to get some players healthy. And if that happens, Gonzaga is going to be right in the mix among the top teams in the country and expected to make a deep run in the tournament once again. Reporting in Detroit, Julian Minnesone, 4 News Now Sports. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. What have you got against tomatoes? I don't know how anybody can eat those things. With style, the fully electric Audi Q4 e-tron. Get exceptional offers at your local Audi dealer. It's Click It RV's huge open house show and sale going on now. With top manufacturers like Forest River, Winnebago, Thor, Jayco, StarCraft, and more. With super low interest rates, zero down, and no payments till July. Enter to win 30000 in cash or a new 2023 StarCraft trailer. There's huge savings on motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, and more. So beat the spring rush and don't miss this huge open house sale at Click It RV. One mile past the Y on the Newport Highway. News. For years, Washington Realtors embraced some of the most consumer-friendly practices in the nation, putting fairness and transparency at the heart of the home buying process, providing clients with the duties of their real estate broker in the transaction, along with a written agreement explaining the cost of brokerage services and receiving and signing this agreement up front. Now, these principles are not just industry standard, they're state law. Transparency in Real Estate, brought to you by Washington Realtors. Is your broker a realtor? Charged with style. The fully electric Audi Q4 e-tron. Get exceptional offers at your local Audi dealer. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. That's all we've got. <laughs> That's my favorite.